Hello to the honourable judges, teachers and my respective viewers. Today I am going to be telling the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time there was a widow who lived with her son Jack. They were very poor. They couldn't even afford a loaf of bread. And so Jack's mom ordered Jack to take the only cow they had and sell it to the market. On his way, Jack met an old man walking along the road. The old man proceeded to greet him and then asked him where he was going with such a beautiful cow. Jack explained his intentions to sell the cow to the old man. And then the old man said that he was interested in buying the cow. However, he only had some magic beans and Jack was a little bit skeptical, believing that they were not real at first. But the old man kept persuading Jack to take the magic beans. And so, after minutes of thinking, Jack finally took the magic beans. Happy with the trade that he had made, Jack ran all the way home. La 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 la. When he reached home, his mother was also happy, knowing that he had sold the cow and maybe he had made a fortune from selling it. But when he showed her the magic beans, she was pretty confused at first and then began to scold Jack. Magic beans? And then immediately threw the magic beans into the garden. Then sent Jack to his room. The next morning, both of them found a quite big, a quite big surprise. It was a large beanstalk growing out of the garden. Jack decided to climb onto the beanstalk to see what was on top. Ugh, ugh, ugh. When he reached the top, he was in a weird place where everything was much bigger than him. But he was hungry and also tired from all the climbing. So he decided to explore this weird place to find any food. He found himself on a stone path after a while of exploring. The stone path led to an enormous house with a big wooden door. Knock, knock, knock. There was no answer. And so Jack knocked again. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, is there anyone there? Suddenly, the giant door creaked open. And right before Jack stood a giant lady. The giant lady began talking to Jack. Hmm? What are you doing here? And who are you? Well, whatever you want or whatever your intentions may be, you will need to leave before my husband gets back. He likes the taste of little children and so eats them up. Suddenly, Jack heard loud footsteps stomping in the distance. Stomp! Stomp! And with each stomp, the sound became closer and closer until Jack could see a shadowy figure standing in the distance. But he could not look for long, for at that moment, the giant lady grabbed Jack and put him in the oven. When he looked outside, he had saw a tall man standing beside the giant lady. The tall man began sniffing around. Fee, fee, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. What are you talking about, dear? You must be smelling the stew from last night. Let me bring you some. Never mind, just bring me my magic hand. And so the giant lady gave the magic hand to his husband, to her husband. And then when Jack took a closer look, he had saw the most beautiful thing he had ever seen in his life. It was a golden hen laying one golden egg after another. And right at that moment, he knew that he wanted that magic hen. And so he could never be poor again. He waited for the giant to fall asleep and sure enough, that moment did come. <sighs> After 
After that, Jack opened the oven door and tiptoed to the magic hand. When he got close enough, he immediately snatched the magic hand away from the giant and tiptoed to the wooden door. But suddenly, the magic hand screeched and woke the giant. What? What's happening? Where's my magic hand? And then, seeing that the screech had awoke the giant, Jack ran as fast as his little legs could carry him. And when he reached the beanstalk, he looked behind him only to see the giant was minutes away from catching him. He climbed down as fast as he could and halfway, he yelled to his mom, Mom! Mom! Bring me an axe! When he reached the bottom, they began chopping the beanstalk together. Chop! Chop! And then, after a while, they had managed to sever the beanstalk. And with a loud groan, the giant fell to his death. Oh! Boom! And from that day onwards, Jack and his mom were never poor again thanks to the magic hand. Ladies and gentlemen, the moral of the story is honesty and bravery always gets rewarded. That is all from me and thank you.